we're basically hoping to uh, create workers here. We want um, students that will either be prepared for career or college, and we do have that going on. Last year, it was graduating class, 55% of our students actually went on to college, and 45% went to work. Children have choices of, uh, it's about a dozen shops right here. The kids have an opportunity to be trained in a vocational area with something like auto mechanics or manufacturing or in healthcare so that upon graduation they are employable right off the bat. The vocational school gives them the opportunity to learn some valued skills so when they get out of high school they have some type of background that they can you know go out in the field and either work or you know move on to college if that's what they choose to do. There's a lot of opportunities and I'm just trying to keep my mind open and just see what's out there. Just to see what I can do. I'm going to go to a technical college for electrical wiring. Allied Health. We're both Allied Well, like, my future would probably be to, like, build my own house, maybe. Out of a traditional high school, you may have an idea that you want to be an automotive technician but you probably don't have any kind of formal training in that regard. Here, they're getting their high school education and that formal training. Many kids say, if I had to go to the high school, I wouldn't be going to school at all. That this is what's keeping me in school, coming to this place. Our students graduate from this program with over a thousand hours of on-the-job training, working at different manufacturing companies in not only um, Western Massachusetts, but Northern Connecticut about 33% uh, to 40% every year are in uh, cooperative education, which is a time when they go out and earn a wage. I'm actually taking electrical as a, uh, as a course, so I'm gonna be uh, like my junior year, I'm gonna be set up with a job uh, on co-op. If there's any leaks, there won't be any. Most of the students that I work with come from Westfield uh, Vocational High School. Uh, we've been working with them for about 15 years now. I get the experience of actually working in the job site at an actual shop doing what these other guys are doing for their full-time job. I think it's very important for students to be exposed while they're in high school. Uh, that way they can see if that's exactly what they want to do later on in life. Uh, also they get trained ahead of time in the field that they're interested in. It's, it's awesome really. Yep. And what about up here? What about it? It doesn't matter. It's not, that's not in the water. Okay. doesn't matter. Those kids can start right from now. The IT kids, they can start right from now. They can even start in school. I do know a few of the graphic art students that started their own photography businesses and do like senior portraits. I didn't, I didn't put any oh. hardener in it. Oh, it's on your straw. The students that come here are hands-on learners and that's the reason they wanted to be here. That's why they wanted to choose a career technical program and that's how they learn best. My daughter's 13, she's coming here next year um, and I see the kids in my neighborhood outside tinkering on their bikes, playing with their with their snowmobiles, fixing things. That's what they want, then let them do it. Paper and have straw inside the yeah. car. We are the future, we will be the building blocks of this nation and if we don't know how to solve our own problems. How can we develop this nation into something new? We'll be staying behind everyone and staying the same throughout time. Vocational schools are, are doing everything we can to send students out into the workforce. So we need to develop more students, more young people with the skills, with the trades abilities to fill those jobs uh, and, and help grow America's economy and help grow America's industry. What, wait, Is it going to tip over? I still have friends where I came from and here, so it's the best of both worlds. And what, what do your home friends think about you taking a, an hour long bus ride to get here? They think I'm crazy. A lot of them. <laughs> Why do they think you're crazy? They don't think it's worth it, but it definitely is. Right here. No, it's right there. Nope. We, uh, one of the first things that, that we instill on them it, is that failing is okay. It's, you know, the trial and error, it's the nature of the business. And you have to be a lifelong learner um, in today's world. And if you have a start in a vocational high school, you, you have the, that time here where you start to learn your trade. And it's easy to jump into industry and continue the learning. I think any time a student masters a skill, any skill, once they get that, that builds confidence. 
The kids are going to be our future. They're going to be fixing my cars. They're going to be taking care of my landscaping. They're going to be taking care of me in a nursing home because we have an allied health field. Um, if I have an electrical issue, these kids are the kids that are going to be taking care of us as a society. So I need them to be prepared.